Hello everyone, Shade Fire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. This is episode 5. And yep, that alien's still hanging around here. So last time we made it to the communications array, however, we couldn't get in contact with the Torrens because they were out of range. They flew off to repair the ship. So instead, we got in touch with Samuels, who says that he and... Taylor are still alive. Took me a minute there to remember her name. But she's injured, so he took her to medical, which is where we're going now. So yeah, we managed to avoid the alien for the entire previous episode. And only got beaten up by the working Joes a few times. But, uh... Medical, I remember very well. Let's just say I had a lot of time to learn medical <laughs> in my first playthrough. Hopefully we won't have so much trouble with it. Also, I should heal if I can. Alright, there's Samuels right there. Taylor's over here. Good to see you're still alive and presumably Ripley. uninjured. Is that Ripley? Try and rest, Taylor. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. There's little time to waste, Ripley. All right, so we got to go find medical supplies for Taylor. Uh, I guess she was lucky enough that whatever punctured her suit got stuck in there, so she didn't, you know, die in space. Stay with me, Taylor. Ripley's finding help. You always know a working Joe. All right, where are we going? What direction are we going in? Okay, San Cristobal Medical Facility is over that way. I think this is the Psy part of Psy Med in this direction. I got a ping there for a second. I don't think it's the Xenomorph, though. Actually, I don't think there's anything over here. I mean, there's that door, which we can open from somewhere. Just gotta find the rewire station. Um, which doesn't look like we passed it already. Some of these you actually have to come into from elsewhere, through a vent or whatever, and then you open them up and it's a little loot room. Okay, so I'm getting something from probably this side. I suppose it could also just be them. Alright, well, let's go to the hospital. Even more body bags just shoved into a side room. Man, it's really tripping me out that I keep getting these minor pings. Okay, there's definitely something directly in front of me. Grab that map. Okay, I hear voices, so I think that's just people up ahead. I mean, people are still bad, but, you know, they're less bad. I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a- I can't hear you. Hang on. Come on, I've opened the elevator for you. Alright. Let's Come just- on. Come There's no time to lose. 
trust this mysterious person telling us to come on. Um, oh, well, we can't even get back out because I think this is a... I don't know. Security level one, so I don't know why we can't reopen it. But it seems he locked us in. All right, well, this will take us to the medical staff entrance. They say attract the alien at your own risk with the sounds of combat, but eh, that can actually be to your benefit as well, as we will definitely find out. Forget the door. The marshals have locked everything down. Use the vent. All right, so we've got someone else who's playing Alien Blackout right now, guiding us through the cameras. saw somebody who was saying they were disappointed that you actually don't need the flashlight very often. Like, most of the time you're only going to use it in these vents, but I don't see that as a bad thing. Honestly, you don't even really need it in the vents. There's usually only one way to go. So there's an elevator there, but it needs power. There's a map here. And yeah, we're not going that way. That's a key guard door. So we kind of just have to go the way he lets us go. Right. So if I remember, there's only, like, two save points in all of medical. I remember having to replay, like, big sections because there wasn't any other save points. I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We... Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help, and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. I mean, it doesn't really look like there's anything wrong with him. He's not injured or anything. He's not missing a leg. So if I remember, we can also use these emergency overrides to lock the doors behind us. With certain doors. Where are you going? Why, why don't you just go through the door like a normal person? Well, this is someone's office. Blasting cap, sensor... Um, sensor is pretty much just the explosives, so. Like a smoke bomb or something. Yeah, that needs ethanol, so we'll stick that in there. And then I'll stick a sensor in there, so we can pick one up. But yeah, you find a lot more crafting materials than I think most people end up using. So I'm going to try to use more of my tools in this run. Instead of only using, like, the basic tools.
There's also no reason not to just keep saving. Like, whenever we do something a little like that. Just stuff you don't want to repeat. I think there was another door in here. Oh, no, never mind. thought there was a turn. Alright, reload my flashlight, because eventually we're going to run out of space for batteries, too. I think the crafting material limits are actually lower on hard than on normal. Come on. Let's work together, huh? Mutual benefit. I mean, it's handy to find out where these vents go, even if you don't really need to crawl through them. Most of the time they lead you to side rooms, but like this one is just a... This one's just kind of for avoiding. No, no, wrong way. Relax, I'm just looting corpses. Is where we just came from? No. There's still good supplies in here. This place had such promise when I first came here. It's tragic. A waste of my tongues. So in this case, we probably don't want to turn off the camera feed. <laughs> okay, well, all the lighting is off right now, it looks like. Uh, we could turn on vent access, but then we'd have to turn off. Hmm. That's door access in the room we're in right now. What door is that? I don't know, I don't see a door here. Because <laughs> apparently that's in the same room as the rewire. Okay, that's the camera. Sprinkler. Okay, this door is back and around the corner, so we should go back and open that first before we shut it off. This one? No, that's a patient ward. Or, I guess a patient cell, not a ward. I like that instead of a padded room, it's a tubed room. Passcode required. This is the day room, this is the one that's unlocked. Crap. Don't take kindly to be left out of the loop, Morley. You hear me? I tried to use the dispensary today and found I was locked out. I can't possibly be expected to carry out my duties if you and Lingard cut my access privileges. I have patients who will relapse without that medication, particularly when things on the station are so precarious. I will not see patient care suffer. Consider this a formal warning. And for the record, I do not have a problem. Coleman, out. Sounds like he did, in fact, have a problem before all this. I'm going to save there. And then I'm going to try shutting that door off. Oh, I think I've already forgotten what I was trying to turn on. Uh, what was the thing that needed for? Vent access. Okay, that's vent access. 
Well, actually, I guess we don't really need that vent. I kind of rather have the save room open than just one little shortcut. Though that might help us out later. I mean, I don't think we need a camera in here. That's staff access. But if we turn off door access... Well, actually, we could turn off air purification in their save room. I think that does actually help with blocking view, but she might cough when it's like that. Whatever, we'll try this out. We know where the rewire is, at least, in case we need it. So, activate vent access. Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like much in the way of supplies, aside from what we already looted. Oh, there's also a floor panel here. So yeah, there are some ways around here, which clearly we're going to need. What the fuck was that sound? I mean, we're not getting any motion readings right now. I think I'm just going in circles at this point. Um, there's an item in here. It is the morning. The sun is high in the sky above you. Soon. Is there? Okay, that was just a regular item. It wasn't like a important item. All right. More of these offices over here. One of these doors was unlocked as well. Oh. Um, no, these actually look the same. I was going to say we don't have level 1 clearance, but I don't know why <laughs> some of them are level 1 as well. Alright, so... Probably be safe to assume it's on his terminal. Have you found the passcode? Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. Dude, it's been like 30 seconds. Let me at least read. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just trying to find out what detected. that is. You focus on finding that key card. Shit. I'm sure it's nothing. For senior management eyes only. San Cristobal Medical Facility Quarantine Active. Entrance to primary care deck now limited to marshals and senior staff. Universal facility passcode 1702. Systems will scan for potential quarantine breaches every 15 minutes. Oh, we seem to have missed one of these Outpost of Progress reports by the journalist. A troubled population. For better or worse, the right to bear arms followed us into colonial space. Alone, vulnerable, and light years from law enforcement, who could deny our voyagers a way to defend themselves, their ships, and their families? The flip side of this argument is Sevastopol, where gun crime is rampant. Endlessly turning circles in a neglected corner of space, its people are downbeat and disconsolate. Disconsolate. Those who could afford to leave did so years ago, abandoning friends and neighbors among empty stores, creaking systems, and the forgotten dreams of the deep space economic boom. Sevastopol's people feel deceived, tempted here by corporations that refuse to recognize the deep space bubble was about to burst. They are angry, desperate, and increasingly divided. 
Recent colonial martial clampdowns on the black market have increased resentment. Every day it feels as if the station has edged a little closer to freefall. Dr. Lingard, we need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. We're getting really low, and it doesn't help that Coleman seems to be handing them out like candy. Logs show he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medication. Sevastopol's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Coleman? Find out where those prescriptions are going? Hmm, almost like he has an addiction of his own. Alright, well, that didn't help us with the password. And his body was not hidden in the closet. Alright, well, we have a general access password. So that should get us through a few doors. Boy, I hope it doesn't come this way. It's far enough away that it's not on my motion tracker. Where did you go, you bastard? Yeah, I think the vents do kind of mess with your motion tracker regularly. I hate that you can't stand up and just look. You have to, like, peek over the edge. Okay, he's coming back. Where are we going? There's a key over there. <laughs> I was about to say, don't look at it and it won't notice you. Yeah, it's kind of a crappy spot to have it come out the door. Well, its tail wasn't invisible, so that animation seems to be working. I can't tell if I've actually fixed the problem, or if there's a different problem. Because, you know, there was that one working Joe with the maintenance jack that, uh... The maintenance jack just kind of disappeared. Alright, well, we can sprint back to Morley's office, because we know where it is now. I think it's this door that said it had something behind it, but it's just locked. Non-specifically locked. No. Fuck that one up. Let's try it again. Alright, um... This, and then uh, this, and then this thing. Thankfully, there's no real penalty to fuck it up just once. You have three chances. The should be in there somewhere. Have you found the passcode? Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it up. Fight! Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just trying to find out what that is. Yeah, so there's really, like, no good place to hide here. I 
I do hate that you can't do a little lean. I have to keep tapping it like this. Okay, I think we're probably going to want to use a, a noisemaker to get out of here. Actually, it looks like that door down the hall goes into this room. So the Xenomorph's eyesight is not the best, even though it doesn't really have eyes. That's one thing that they still haven't decided on in the canon, is exactly how a Xenomorph sees. Does it have infrared vision? Does it use something completely different? Or does it actually have eyes that can see through that dome? Okay, so I think this is one of the first areas where it will just consistently hang around. He's not just going to go out, go away after a while. I don't want to keep this tracker out too long. That's right, go check it out. Man, those noisemakers are really quiet. <laughs> you can like barely tell when it goes off. Okay, it's another charge pack. I think that's a good thing to have in your hand though, when the Xenomorph is around in case it spots you, because it was very close to seeing me there. Okay, where are you at? Oh, he's back in that room over there. I don't think he'll come in here. I can't be too sure of that. I mean, there's a locker to hide in, in case he does. There's also a rewire here. Far enough away that he shouldn't surprise me. That's the day room again. If I can activate the alarm system, I can kind of distract it. I don't think it'll stay distracted. In fact, it's uh, apparently not all that concerned. Okay, so it would be nice to save, but really we just have to get back to that first save point if we want to get out of here. got his attention. Oh boy. Okay, thankfully, because something else had his attention, the noise I made, he just booked it. Uh oh. Well, that's bad. completely stealthily that time. Hmm. Well, that was going all right. I should have gone into the floor vent, but I was like, oh no, it's busy. 
The Xenomorph doesn't stay distracted long. Ah, oh, fuck. I also could have hit this. And it would have locked him out from that side. And he would have had to run back around. And then when he's running back around, I could hit it again and run out. <laughs> so yeah, there's definitely options for closing off these paths. Yeah, it doesn't even let you use the passcode unless you've seen the passcode. That's right. Along that corridor. This isn't even the part of the medical that I remember. Like, this isn't the part I remember being stuck at. You're there. That's Morty's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. But yeah, I didn't realize that it also inherently knows Look, when you open paths. Oh, this would be vent access right here, wasn't it? I thought it was a wall vent. This actually would have helped us get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so he actually went into the day room, which is kind of bad for us. So Dr. Morley's keycard is directly across from there. Problem is the Xenomorph can move very quickly. Okay, I'm going to save while we have the chance. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a good way to distract it. God damn it, I did it again. Old E, let go of E completely. It's not like a let go of E and you get out thing. So, something that I guess a lot of reviewers didn't understand and they complained about, including IGN's famous really poor review of isolation, was that if you take out the motion tracker when you're in a, a locker like this, the alien can hear it, and it will come over and spot you. So you can't just hold that out and go, oh, is it gone yet? You can peep at it. And that's about it. I wasn't sure if it saw me through the window, so that's why I ducked in here in the first place. I like how because I'm not looking at the motion tracker, it's silent, but it's right there. <laughs> God, that's so loud. Also, like these tables, I can't get under these fucking tables because of these chairs. I find it kind of funny that it just kind of calmly waits for the door to open. It's interesting, though, that even when it's stationary, it shows up on the motion tracker. Okay. I think it heard the motion tracker. So, yeah, you can't keep it out for very long if you want to stay sneaky. Shit. Wait. Did I get that right? Okay, um... You can stay in there. It won't stay in there, but, you know, it's a nice thought. Alright, I think we're gonna wrap up at the next save point. 
because, you know, we've been going for a bit, but made some progress. Shit. Did you get in here already? So, A29, C21, and A26. jumped up into the vents, so that gives us a moment of clearance. Well, this area looks pretty familiar. Alright, so where are these areas? Oh god, we gotta get all the way back there. Hide behind the ketchup. Sensor is maxed, and we already used one for this. Let's make another noisemaker. I mean, because they're so effective against the Xenomorph specifically, the noisemakers are one of the most useful things. I almost chucked a flare when it had me cornered in that room. I was thinking about it, and we're like, no, it's going to see that immediately. Shit. Here we come. I wish I could see the door through this crack. I need a general direction on it. So I know if I'm going to walk in his direction or not. So th a lot of the game is this. <laughs> this kind of cat and mouse with the xenomorph. Trying to judge which way it's going by the sound of its footsteps. God. Okay, jumped up again. So, again, that gives us a little bit of transition time to get out of here. Okay, so to get to Morley's rounds, we need to go down this hallway and then over there. But I'm going to go back, see if I can get to the save point.
I think we'll just wrap up here. We've got a ways to go before we're done with medical. So, thank you for joining me for another episode of Alien Isolation. I hope you've been enjoying our slow crawl through Sevastopol Station. Because, you know, I have. I'm enjoying returning to this game. Even if I'm sure that it will get frustrating in certain spots. But overall, I'm just really digging the atmosphere and the vibe, and oh boy. <laughs> so, until next time, you folks all take care. Gonna hide in this locker for a bit.